Hi Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for the 29th to the 5th of December. We're going to see what is coming through, what messages, information, clarity I have for you. And we're going to take a look. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for Sagittarius. And also I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is my intention manifesting items are on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. You can check out the review section at the bottom of my website. They are handmade, meditated with and saged and the website is shopmoonlightguidance.com which is linked down below. There's items for different intentions and then there's like, um, yeah, they're, they're literally all on there. So there's like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. They also make great gifts and also the candles have been restocked. There's candles, crystals and sage, so many items on there and these are handmade, hand-poured, plant-based, safety tested and they are really, really special as well. So definitely do check those out if you are interested. Okay, so let's have a look and see Sagittarius, what we have for you. Seven of Cups, King of Swords, World, Four of Pentacles, mm. whoa, okay, um, so this particular week is quite monumental, it seems to be bringing um, a very, very big change, some of you might quite literally be moving, you may quite literally be, um, you know, starting a new job, starting something new, starting a new business, setting up your own website, for example, learning something new. It's it's like a new beginning. And that's what I see. You might be putting an application towards something, you know, where you do like a course or you are submitting an application for a job. You know, this is like the beginning of something. You might be searching for a home. And so this is like the beginning of that sort of search, right? So that's what I see here. Because I feel like whatever you do in this particular week, there's some really auspicious energy tied to it. So for example, if, if say for example, I'm just going to give you an example. If you're putting in um, some information for like a, a mortgage offer or something like that, it means that you can be really successful in terms of getting it. If you're applying for a specific school or you you know you want to study somewhere or you're applying for, yeah, oh gosh, it, it, it really varies because I see so many different examples of so many of you doing different things. And so that's the thing is obviously it's a general reading. So I'm picking up on so many different things where some of you might be starting your search for a home and then you want to, for example, look at a home this week and then you find that that might be your dream home and you might actually end up getting it. Like it, it's so, it's so crazy in that sense. But you know, if you're applying for a job, it means that like you could end up getting that particular job. I know, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what I see here. If you're uh, like making a website for this idea that you have, that idea and the website could take off and be really successful. So what I see if you're wanting to open like um, your own YouTube account or TikTok and post different things on there, it could be successful. There's something about this week which is very, very auspicious for you, Sagittarius. And anything that you really put your mind to in this particular week in terms of wanting to make it happen with hard work seems to really pay off in the in the like long term scheme of things. Whoa, amazing right? So that's King of Wands energy is that anything you put your energy towards, okay, with the Seven of Cups, these are all these different things that you could be doing, seems to really give you a lot of power and satisfaction and stability for your future. It makes you feel complete. There's a sense of completion with Saturn here. Wow. So I see you working very hard, okay? This is definitely a week of hard work. It is a week of ga gaining and getting respect from those around you. I think that also because the sun is also in Sagittarius, it's really just boosting everything that you're doing. But also Neptune goes direct on the first. When Neptune goes direct, it's no longer in retrograde, which actually means that there's so much more peace and harmony coming your way. But not only that, because Neptune is the most spiritual planet in our solar system, 
Neptune, okay, is giving you ideas. It is bringing imagination to the forefront. It is illuminating your dreams. It's allowing you to have that creative spark where then you actually have the energy to follow through on it and you feel really connected on such a spiritual level to the things that you want to do. Oh, love it. I love what we're seeing. There you go, right? So following your passions. Also, there's someone here romantically that can be really drawn to wanting to talk to you, wanting to say something, wanting to do something. This is also about you following, you know, the things that you love in terms of your passion and your dreams and your goals as well. There you go, Ace of Cups. There can be a really, really lovely sense of good news that comes your way here as well. Queen of Swords, keep going. Keep going. We see here this counterpart energy as well. So romantically, someone can really want to talk to you and be around you and do things with you. I think it's actually really exciting. <laughs> really exciting. Yeah, see you're working really hard. Moon, Neptune energy, Pisces energy. Pisces is connected to Neptune, by the way, right? So you can understand how Neptune is such a spiritual planet if it's connected to Pisces. Like it's so, 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 so um, intuitive. Okay, so your intuition is going to be on fire. Not only is that, but you're taking action on your intuition and therefore you're seeing results and you're seeing major changes and you're seeing like your life changing because this particular, these particular things that you're applying for are quite literally life changing. I mean, if you're applying for a school, like that is, you know, a significant amount of your like life at school, you know what I mean? Um, but also if you are applying for like a home or you're putting an offer in for a home, that's quite life changing too because it's like literally a home. Some of you might be thinking about traveling you know, and, and it brings you so, so many amazing memories. You might be setting up your own business. I mean, that's life-changing too. So it's definitely something life-changing. And also, in regards to love, you may find that someone is coming forward and expressing themselves and wanting to like be with you and see where things go. I would say that that's life-changing too. <laughs> so yeah, chariot. Someone's definitely coming towards you, but this can also indicate a spontaneous trip that perhaps you want to take. I just, oh, every time I look at the lovers, all I freaking think of is TikTok. And honestly, I, I know that some of you had emailed me as well because I was responding some, to some emails this morning about why I haven't posted um, a TikTok um, in like the times that I usually do. And that's because TikTok was being silly basically. And um, <laughs> maybe I should even admit this, but do you know what? It's so realistic. It... TikTok basically took down a few of my videos because it has nudity in it because they're tarot cards and then they restored the videos but because then I still have the strikes from what they decided to take down which first of all didn't even violate the the guidelines right but because then those strikes remain on my my TikTok I couldn't post for a full 24 hours on there I could view things but I couldn't post on there so I just had all these emails like, Moonlight, you say you're posting every single day, but like you didn't post. I'm like, guys, I, I had stuff ready to go. <laughs> but TikTok, TikTok just wanted to be TikTok. And I know that not everybody has TikTok because it's not available everywhere. So it also didn't end up going on my Instagram either because I use the TikTok videos to post on Instagram so that if you don't have TikTok, you can at least see what I'm posting. <laughs> oh, it's, it's one of these things, honestly, where some of you might even have situations like this that happen in the following week where it's not even your fault, right, that something happens, but you still get like penalized or blamed for it, but then everything gets restored and it's totally fine. So, you know, you, you may find that that happens to you. Like, for example, I... I you know, some of you might get blamed for something going missing, but actually it was never your fault to begin with, or that it's your fault that something went a certain way, but actually it was never your fault and that it's all okay in the end. Like something like that could also happen to you next week because as soon as I saw the lovers, I was like, that is just so typical, but then it gets restored. Oh, just, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things. But yeah, I, I feel like the reason why I wanted to mention that is because it is somewhat relevant also to your reading which I think is quite fascinating. So I'm just saying, okay, even with the Two of Pentacles, you may find, you know, that things like that can happen in this particular week. Then we also have the Six of Pentacles. You are, you're definitely working hard with others. A star here as well. Things are aligning, things are coming together. Empress is Venus energy. So, oh, you feel pretty good. Yeah, this, this, I feel like, um, this reading in many ways will give you that optimism to perhaps do the things that maybe you felt like you couldn't do or maybe you're not destined to do or maybe 
the things that you felt like, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Like, there's just no way that will work out for me. And this reading could change your life because you might think to yourself, you know what? I'm going to push through with my ideas. I'm going to push through with what I want to do. I'm going to push through towards my goals. It can quite literally change your life. You may find yourself doing things that perhaps you didn't think you could do before. Close. Ooh, close plan. Yeah. See, some of you are putting your plans into action. We've got here pining. Yeah, so there is someone here that really does. There is someone that really, 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 really likes you, okay? That I feel can come forward. Now, we've also got loss. Now, remember what I was talking about in terms of, like, perhaps you're getting blamed for something that gets lost or getting blamed for something. You may find, like, oh my gosh, like, that's just me losing a lot of confidence and you feel not so good about it, but actually everything gets like restored so it's totally fine um if you do lose something for example if you lose your glasses if you lose your well i'm just trying to give examples right you could literally lose anything but if you lose something you'll get it back from what i'm seeing okay so if you accidentally leave your sweater or your coat or your scarf or your you know perhaps even money like if you accidentally leave it you know i feel like it can get returned to you so just saying you know lost and found so plan here yeah some of you are making plans to do certain things of course like I mentioned in great detail and also um well this can be close and also close you're closing off a cycle of not believing in yourself a lot and now you're thinking actually I can achieve the things that I want to do so yeah it's beautiful so we have here lots of cycles and a real sense of um progress so this is your reading Sagittarius so of course if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings for reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website I do have TikTok and Instagram <laughs> as I literally mentioned before you can follow me on there if you want to I try to be as consistent as possible and I very much so am sometimes the platforms just are a little all over the place but uh yeah you can follow me on there and I'll see you all very soon. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.